Oh, I have to tell you this one thing that I don't think is going to make it to the Delis show, so I just want to tell you because it was really funny, but I don't think he'll ever sign the release. All right, so one thing that I do is the theme of the season is that I have these A-listers trying to, you know, mentor me and give me tips on getting on the A-list. So we do this one episode with rapper T.I. You know who this guy is? He's exactly, he's hugely famous. And when I went, when I got to go to the Grammys, like everybody was making a big fuss over him. And he has that song, no one on the corner has swagger like a swagger swagger like a. So he's that guy. You can have whatever you won't. All right, so he's, he's a really fascinating guy, and, you know, I had to get him while I could because he's on a little time schedule. <laughs> he's, you know, currently um, on a sojourn, let's just put it that way, a government-mandated type of a hiatus. Let's call it that in a state-run, actually federally-run facility <laughs> because he enjoys the machine guns and accidentally might have rubbed off some serial numbers. You know, it's a long story. Um, and he's a very interesting guy. You know, uh, you know he's like the block de mom He's got eight kids. And... I, I still, I can't get enough of that Octomom. I can't help it. I just... I like how they're like, she's in negotiations for a reality show. I'm like, what the fuck, it, what do you think it is now? Do they follow her? She's like fucking Britney Spears, going to Starbucks seven times a day with her Chanel knockoff glasses and her fucking Starbucks. And um, I like, by the way, I like how she's trying to fucking fool me about not having her lips done. Like, you're gonna fool me on that shit? It looks like a pussy's on her face. It could be hers, it could be someone else's. I've twatted about it. <laughs> so, all right, so anyway, sure enough, I get rapper T.I. to do the, the uh, deal show, you know, while I can, on a deadline. And uh, there's a segment on the show where every week I have my celebrity guests do a segment called Will You Take My Call? And I have them call a celebrity that I know would never take my call in a million years, which is pretty much everyone except my mom. Um, <laughs> So we're sitting there with T.I. and you know his fans are like crazed fans and all this stuff and we're sitting there in LA at a restaurant, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles because, right? Because black people think that chicken go with waffles uh, and they're right. So, um, so, so anyway, I'm sitting there with T.I. at Roscoe's and then I try to be really casual about it and I go, hey, um, let's call Justin Timberlake. And he's like, all right. So he takes up, I know, and remember, we're wearing microphones and the cameras on there and everything. And I go, hey, um, why don't you put it on speaker? So he does. All right, now, all right, so he calls JT. And here's the thing. Think about it. If you get a call from TI, you're going to take it. Because time is of the essence. And <laughs> you better pick up. Because next time he calls, there might be like a government official in between that's prefacing. All right, so sure enough. Justin picks up immediately. Now, you know, one of my obsessions is Wiggas, the white people who think that they're black. And I know where I am. I see you, Jersey. I see you with your Kangol hat. I see you. I know where I am. Stop! All right. You saw I was in the video with Eminem, the ultimate wig up, right? So, so sure enough, here's T.I. calling Justin Timberlake. And you know, Justin Timberlake doesn't just think he's African-American. He thinks he is a dark-skinned brother from a tribe in the Congo with a bone in his nose. He, yes. Yes. Um, his pubic hair is dreads. I mean, really, no, come on, he's dark-skinned brother. So it's on speaker and T.I. calls Justin and you guys, the conversation was so hilarious. I'm sure it'll never make the show, but Justin was like out blacking T.I. And as the call went on, they were like getting blacker and blacker to the point where I couldn't even understand what Justin was saying. He wasn't even saying words. He was just making these guttural sounds. So it was Tiago like, what's up? What's up, Blair? How you doing? All right, Pip, what's up? Hey, holla. All right, thank you, should call me. You should call me too. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, then. That's a, uh, uh-huh. And by the end, I was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh, hey, ha, uh -huh, ooh, ah, uh, like that. Just vowels. And they kept calling each other player and they were each pimping and it was hysterical until the moment when Justin says, what you doing player? 
And then T.I. goes, I'm just hanging here with the Kathy Griffin doing her show. And then Justin turned white again in the blink of an eye and goes, oh. <laughs> and rushed off the phone and T.I. hung up and he started laughing. He goes, that was embarrassing. I go, yeah, he's your friend. Um, 